how is it possible to have existence from non-existence, such as the Big Bang Theory, an explosion from nothing? Before I get into that, let me start off with a quote by the late Alan Watts. What you are basically, deep, deep down, far, far in, is simply the fabric and structure of existence itself. Think about how deep that is. That means everything, your body, your house, the air you breathe, your thoughts alone, your awareness, your free will are all part of the source. That existence itself is you, your existence, which means that you are the universe, you are of the source. And getting away from religious beliefs, I mean, I say myself that I'm not religious, that nature's my church, love is my religion. What is love? Where does that belong in this nihilistic view of something from nothing? I mean, I've heard some people say that, oh, love is probably just, it's just a chemical reaction. That's it. Uh, no, uh, that doesn't fall in line with nature at all. It shouldn't, if anything, you could say it slows down nature and uh, strongest survive and other things. And I've mentioned this in other videos. Another interesting thing to think about is our bodies. We're made up of dozens and dozens of elements. And I've talked about this in other videos and I've got some real interesting responses. You know, I've said that, you know, we come from dirt, which I say is a figure of speech. And some people disagree. I didn't come from dirt. Well, actually, the human body shares many different uh, elements that you'll find in common soil. In fact, just to touch on this, if you haven't seen me talk about this in other videos, I mean, we're made up of so many different elements, and this includes metals, our iron in our blood, copper and cobalt in our bodies that you cannot be alive without. And although they're minuscule, you know, measured in parts per million, it's there. And you wouldn't be alive without this smashed together infused system of energy and atoms. I mean, this energy that gives off life to the universe effortlessly and endlessly, that death implies life and life implies death. It's just this circle, this cycle. It's amazing. And we get too caught up in definitions. And again, I'm not anti-science. I've said this before. Um, I mean, I think science is wrong about a number of things, just like we've been proven this throughout history that they're wrong and we learn new things all the time. That's great. And we're also right about a lot of things too. We've learned a lot. But when we get caught up in definitions, it distracts from the nature and the awesomeness of what we're experiencing, guys. Think about this. How do you have nothing, non-existence into existence? And this reminds me of a quote from the Tao Te Ching, and I'll loosely paraphrase it actually is what I'm going to do. A wise man knows that there are limits to his knowledge, that there are some things that you cannot know, where a foolish man thinks he knows everything. Wow, I mean, that is just absolute truth. There is, for some reason, the human brain cannot fathom this. Because think about it. Like, if you want to talk about God, for an example, and I don't like to use the word God because a lot of people, too many people, I'd say, get caught up in this, uh, you know, figure in the sky with a beard floating in the clouds. And many, many other people don't feel that way. But, I mean, this, of course, would raise the question, okay, well, what created God? Okay, like, it's this endless cycle of, okay, if there's a Big Bang, then what caused the Big Bang? What was the nature of that cause, right? So it just keeps going forever and ever because what caused the cause or the ability to cause the Big Bang? Total mind fuck, right? <laughs> like, excuse my language, but, I mean, ultimately, when you think about it, it's clearly something we're not meant, we cannot know. If you have the universe, which is made up of all this, this explosion of energy, and here we are, and we're able to realize and think for ourselves that we do exist. I mean, when you troubleshoot it at its root core, I would say the most logical explanation, besides the fact that we just can't understand it, is that we're all part of this consciousness that is experiencing itself. Because when you think about the illusion of our lives, that this we understand that we're a makeup of atoms and you're just this blob together, like I said, of energy. What is that about? So this actually ties me into the simulation theory, which... I don't exactly agree with because a lot of people get carried away with it and it seems to exclude the loving nature of ourselves and that the actual experience we're having. Like I don't identify that we're part of some computer system that's plugged in and it takes away from love, I should say, which is this unexplainable, mysterious awesomeness that to me proves the divineness of our existence. And when I say divineness, that I would say that we're all it. So if you believe in a God, then you are God, I would say. And a lot of people... When they hear that for the first time, they don't like it. I mean, think about it, though. We can create languages. Like, you can make your own language tomorrow if you wanted to. Just assign different sounds to different meanings. Ta-da, you have a language. You can create a heaven or hell on earth experience for anyone. You can have a kid, treat them really good, or have a kid and treat them horribly, make their existence horrible, and vice versa. Think about this. We have free will, and we have awareness of our free will. 
So when you really think about that, I would argue that we are all gods. I'm not saying we're the god. Again, a lot of people get caught up in that and they don't like hearing it. But I don't know if there's any other justifiable explanation for what we are. We are the universe experiencing itself. If you believe in the Big Bang, well, you are the Big Bang, just as Alan Watts has stated. Think about this, guys. This is the biggest mind fuck you can possibly have. I don't like to swear a lot, but for effect, you know just how incredible this is. And I encourage everybody to dig into this for themselves. And by dig into, I mean, think about it. Spend some quiet time thinking about what was there before time? How could there ever have been a non-existent time? I mean, there has to be a beginning, right? But at the same time, what created whatever it was that created the beginning? So was there just, there was no beginning? I mean, I guess that's possible, but it's hard to wrap your mind about. Like, what is this about? Now, ultimately, the purpose of this video is to just get you thinking, because a lot of things I'm discussing here are going to tie into other videos in the future. Guys, this is just the beginning of this channel. I discuss many different topics, and I've been enjoying talking about ancient human civilization, which I will never stop doing that. I mean, it's a lifelong passion that is never going to end, but I'm going to talk about many, many other different things, and one of which is the spiritual nature of our lives, of our existence. It's worthy of far more attention, because I'm telling you, it's secure to so many ills, of our lives, whether it's depression or lack of contentment in our lives, which is thriving, unfortunately, for lack of a better word, throughout the world. People are really starting to question what this is about because they're not living the lives that they feel they were meant to. So I'm going to wrap this up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm a very open-minded person. I just want to know the truth, as I'm sure all of you do as well. I mean, if you put a button in front of me that says, hit this and you get the truth, no matter what it is, no matter how bad it debunks everything I thought I knew, and shreds apart everything and makes me just feel dumb. I want to know. Boom, I'm pressing that button. Teach me. I want to know. So one of the best ways to do that is for people to share thoughts and ideas. So leave a comment. Explore this topic. But I'll leave it at that. I'm Jimmy. This is Bright Insight. Like and subscribe. And I have many other videos to come and a whole wide variety of topics. <laughs> Take care, everybody.